Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got a real dull look today, so I'm gonna go in with my Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray and spray my face. I've already moisturized using my Biore moisturizer and my Aveeno Serum Drops. That always gives me a little bit of luminosity and I'm gonna put on my ears here and get ready to do some makeup. I'm going to start with the Benefit Professional. I like to use this over my nose and a little bit on the sides of my nose and my upper lip. It fills in the pores, but it also, because I live in a warm environment where it's humid, it helps with moisture from perspiring on my upper lip. The first thing I'm going to go in to do as far as makeup is concerned is I'm going to work with my brows. They're very sparse and what brows I do have are blonde. So I'm using this Maybelline Brow Precise in the color blonde and I'm just filling in my brows with that. I really like this. It's a nice creamy formula, but once you brush it out and set it down, it's really um, good. It's got great staying powder staying power <laughs> but i really do like this for my brows and i like to use it on uh, both sides as a base before i do anything else here i'm using my nars um, eyeshadow base and my ring finger i just blend this in until it begins to feel tacky and then i know i'm ready to set down a base on my lids so i'm going to be using my rimmel stay matte powder and this Morphe E14 in order to do that. I'm just gonna put this powder over the, over the lids. It's a really nice base that you can use if you don't have just um, a transparent shadow or a skin color shadow to use, and today I didn't. While you're working, always go in with some water. Try to get a bottle of water in while you are doing your makeup so that everything looks and feels brighter because moisturized skin comes from within. I'm using the color Flesh on my E40 from my Marc Jacobs color, or let's say I think it's Iconic. That's what it is, the Iconic palette. And here I'm going in with this next color. It's really just a pretty warm I guess you would call it a peachy tone. And um, yeah, I'm just working this and blowing it out all through the crease. And then I'm gonna go in with my E3. I like to go in after every step and I like to brush away any fallout. I'm using this Morphe brush and the color Covets, which is more of a brownish taupe color. And I'm just going in the outer corner and up through the crease. It's more of a precise brush than the Sigma E40. And so I'm just going in and adding some additional depth to that crease there. Now I'm going in with this Morphe. Um, it's an E, maybe 18 or something like that. I'll have it here on the screen. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going into this darker brown and I'm, I start out by stamping it in, in that entire outer fourth of my eye. And then as I stamp it in, then I start blending it along. And it seems to go in really well. These um, shadows from this Marc Jacobs palette really blend very easily. You do have to build them up a little bit, but overall, I really do like the outcome when I'm using this eyeshadow palette. Yes, it's expensive. This was, it may have been a limited edition from summer last year, I'm not positive, but yeah, you guys can get things that are similar. It did not have a lighter color to highlight my brow bone, so I'm just using this shader brush from Sigma, and I'm going into the brow bone with this white peach color from the Sweet Peach Palette, um, the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. And I just brought that in for a, a, brow, a brow highlight. <laughs> I thought that would work just fine. I just wanted to bring attention to my brow bone and blend out that harsh line that I had. Now I'm using my Sigma E60, I believe it is, and I am using the Smashbox um, color correcting stick in dark orange. I uh, use that in the dark circles under my eyes so that way yeah it just it cancels it out really well. I like it a lot. 
Also, on my reddest spots of my face, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Color Correcting Fluid in Green, and I'm just using the butt end of my Purple Beauty Blender to blend that out. I'm going to be going in with the IT Cosmetics. Um, I believe it's the IT Cosmetics Illuminating, something like that. But anyway, it's the um, Illuminating CC Cream in the color Medium. And I'm using the Love is the Foundation It Cosmetics brush with that. I love it. It buffs the product into my skin really well. And because I'm looking for something that's very glowy and bright and more bold, um, this is a great product. It does have a bit of sheen to it. And it just really looks good on my more mature, dull skin. It does provide a good bit of coverage, which is wonderful. As you can see, it really does um, buff in well and give me a nice bit of coverage, especially when paired with a concealer. So I really like this. You can see I'm almost out of it. <laughs> I'm, it's gonna be time to repurchase soon. But yeah, I really love this brush. This particular version of the brush, they come out with every October for breast cancer awareness. Here I'm just using my Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment Lip Balm. I love it, and I'm going in with the Light Illusion Flower Beauty Concealer. Mine is in light. This is great. I like it so much more than the actual foundation. The foundation is a little sticky for me. It never really dries down very well. You have to really go in and set it, but this concealer, not only does it give you amazing coverage, but it's illuminating, and I really do love that under my mature eyes where I have fine lines and wrinkles. It gives me great coverage, but it also brightens, and it's not overly dry looking. And for mature skin where there's a lot of wrinkles, um, yeah, I've just found that I really am enjoying this, that it might be um, in my holy grail status before long because I've just really been enjoying it since I was able to purchase it and do that first video on it with you guys. I just did a little bit in the center of my forehead, down my nose and on my chin to lighten the center of my face. I really like the results I get with this. Now I'm going in with my Ben Nye Luxury Powder, just a loose setting powder in the color Cameo. It's a pale pink. And I really like setting under my eyes with a loose powder now instead of baking under there because when I bake, it just makes it look more cakey and dry. But when I put a loose powder anywhere that I've put concealer, it sets down everything, but it keeps it from being cakey and dry. Now I'm just going back in with that E3 from Morphe, that big fluffy brush and my Rimmel Stay Matte and setting down the whole rest of my face. I always make sure to sit down where I've gone down underneath my chin onto my neck and the edges around by my ears. I'm using this Real Techniques, the um, name of this brush, I just know it's a blending brush but that's really all I know. It's kind of worn off, but I've gone into my Benefit Hula for um, my contour, and I am contouring separately this time, but it makes a really good contour color for me because I'm not super dark or anything, and it's a cool tone color, so I'm able to carve out my cheeks and give myself much more of a cheekbone look. I also go around my jawline there and on my chin because my chin is pretty prominent and pointed <laughs> and I like to um, give it more of a rounded look. I'm using this Hourglass Dual Ended Brush and the NARS Laguna, which is really old school for YouTubers, but it really is a pretty bronzer. And so I'm just giving myself um, color all around. And you'll notice that I also go across the bridge of my nose and kind of go out towards my cheeks to give myself more of a bronzy, sun-kissed look. 
and I really like the way that that turns out. I've seen other people do it and it seems to work for me too. Another old school beauty YouTuber product is NARS Blush in Orgasm. So I'm just pinking up my cheeks really good here with that. Um, it's a really illuminating blush and because it's got a little glow to it, I thought that it would be a really good one to use with this look. So I really like the effect of a warm and illuminated blush. And I'm going across my nose and the bridge of my nose out towards my cheeks with that also. And it just gives you that really sun-kissed, fresh from out in the sun look. And just a little touch on my forehead and my chin. I'm using the Jouer Highlighting highlighting powder in skinny dip this is a beautiful color and it's so popping i just love it you can see as soon as i touch my skin with it and i'm just going all over but i love the glow that it gives it brightens up any drab skin for sure if anything else didn't do it this does it really does a great job it's a beautiful product so I just hit the top of my nose and my cupid's bow with it just a little bit. And then I go in and I blend everything out with my Morphe E3, just the big brush, just to knock away anything that's just sort of loose and laying on top of the skin. I just blend all of it in. And now I'm going in for an even brighter look. Instead of putting a color in my waterline, I chose to use this Rimmel Scandalized in Nude. Um, I'm using this on my waterline and that just really brightens up your eyes and makes your eye color pop. Now I'm using this, it's in Kokomo, uh, Kokomo I think. Um, this is actually for your lips, but I'm using it on my um, lash line and I'm using it just on my bottom lash line and I'm just using it because it's a real rich brown it's a warm brown and so I just decided that I wanted to use it there it should be you know pretty safe going in with this Morphe pencil brush and this color that's in the Marc Jacobs palette is a real bronzy um, shimmery color and I wanted to just smudge that out with that color it I thought would just add a little extra shine and catch the light and then I just sort of carry it onto the top lash line in the outer corner just a tiny little bit and brush everything down. This brush is from Sonia Kashuk. It's just a brow and lash brush so I always make sure that my brush my my brows are laying down and then I go in with this NYX tinted brow mascara and I'm using it in the color brunette because that's what I have. <laughs> I use this product in all of my videos pretty much. Um, I had just a few little mistakes and I like to go in before it dries and just use a q-tip to clean up. I'm working on my inner corners with a uh, it's a sigma um just a real detailed um brush here with the jouer highlighter powder in my inner corner i don't always do that in fact it's rare that i put anything in my inner corner but i was looking for extra bright eyed and glowy today so i went ahead and did that i curl my lashes before i do anything else with my eyes and then I go ahead and go in and set my face with the Scandinavia setting spray. It's the bridal edition. It's a little bit stronger. Laura Mercier Highlight 1 is a product you could enjoy. The Marc Jacobs Bronze in um, Tantastic. You could also have used the Benefit product, the Too Faced, or any of these others that I'm showing you. They are all wonderful products that could be used for a bronzy glow look. So I go in with the Maybelline Great Lash and Waterproof. And what I do is I go ahead and put my first coat on my lashes. And then I lay, 
I, I let it make, I just make sure and let it dry completely. And then, I mean, I wouldn't do this. I'm not recommending you do this, but if you're absolutely positive that your lashes are totally dry after the first coat, you can go in with your lash curler, but just be warned if you do this, you can go in and curl them again, but just pull away very gently at first in case they're stuck and you have to kind of get them off. And then I go in with my second coat of my mascara and it, the waterproof holds the curl. So yeah, um, I'm just putting my second coat on my lashes here. And after that, I mean, you know, the waterproof holds it so well and I'm really happy with the results. So the whole idea was to do something that was really nice and bronzy and then use a really bold, impactful, bright, summery lip. And I did, I, I think I accomplished that. I went in with the um, ColourPop Lippy and I heart this. And then I used the Maybelline Rose Rush, which is a bright orange, which is perfect for this time of year. So I just lined my lips with the ColourPop. I was trying to decide between which color I wanted to use. So I went with the brightest one that I had there, which is a hot pink. And mixing that with that bright orange, I thought was a really great complimentary thing. I did not have any, um, I don't have a, a, you know, a lip liner that is a bright orange, but I wanted to tone the orange down just a little bit anyway. So you can see how I'm lining my lips. I start in the center, work my way out, and then I fill in the center. Then I went in with the lipstick and I was pretty much finished. I really loved the look. I hope that you guys enjoy watching me do these videos. Um, I, they're a lot of fun to film. And yeah, I'm just really happy with the total outcome. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button on your way out. And don't forget to hit the like button because that really helps me out. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I really enjoyed this look. I wore it all day. It stood up really well in the heat. And yeah, I was really pleased. So that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, Izzy and I are still filming for you. And that's it. Take care. Bye.